Abstract, this is what it looks like. We have a one euro cent coin that we uh, don't use anymore here in Netherlands, but it's super small. It's two by two millimeters. Uh, it only adds very small space and little um, cost to your bomb, uh, but it makes your device super, super secure. And it's key provisioning, you get it for free. So let's hear it from the device maker. So we build a solution, but let's invite some device makers on stage to show, them, to, to, to show you uh, how they use our solution. Uh, and what it means for them uh, to have their devices onboarded on our global joint server. So let's start with Nexelec. Stefan. Yeah. Ah, here. Hi, Hi. Antoine. Yeah. Welcome. So tell me shortly, what do you do? What does your product do? Yes, our product is, uh, yeah, come. is based on uh, air, moni air monitoring solutions like uh, smoke alarm, temperature, humidity. So environment, so yes, to a context of yes. a building in a room. Yeah. Yes, exactly. So in smart building industry, uh, dwelling managers and social landlords, we install uh, smoke alarms and uh, other uh, security or air quality monitoring solutions. Cool. Hey, and why, why did you select the, uh, the microchip secure element and uh, the secure uh, provisioning? When we start um, designing this product, it was okay, but then when we sell it, uh, our customers uh, ask us how to, to get the keys. So some advanced customers uh, ask us to implement in manufacturing uh, a provisioning on, uh, on their private key storage server. Okay. So that's good for uh, advanced uh, customers that, uh, that know the, the technology, but uh, it's custom. So it's, it means that uh, on our manufacturing line, we need to implement uh, yeah, specific uh, things to, to be compatible with uh, one customer. Yeah. Um, the other thing is that uh, it's not uh, off-the-shelf uh, solutions. Great. Hey, and, and you're not a small player, right? You're selling like hundreds of thousands of devices, right? So, sorry? You're not a small player. You're selling hundreds of thousands of devices of your, smart, uh, of your smoke detector and that kind of stuff. Yes. For yeah. massive deployment, uh, it's not uh, easy to, to do uh, custom solutions. Perfect. So, Thank you very much. Nice. Great. Thank you. Thank you. So next, Tolko. 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 Stefan. Hey. hey. Thanks. Welcome. Please sort of go to the center oh, of the Thanks. So, so who are you and what do you do? So Tolko, we are a manufacturer of devices and also doing solutions. And we come from the uh, telecom space. So we pretty much already from the beginning started with the same kind of the secure element and trust zones that is used in cell phones, etc. So kind of natural to put it into our designs already. So the first uh, products uh, had this already in uh, 2017. And uh, now we're happy to, uh, in the latest versions here in, uh, that produces 2019, we have all support for it uh, with the uh, joint service with uh, the Things Industry. Okay. Yeah. So cool. you were already using a secure element, huh? Yeah. So, yeah. so we, we had it already in all our product line in order yeah. to sec have secure boot, encrypted firmware, yeah. and have it uh, super secure. So it is, uh, yeah. Yeah, and now we're adding it, extending it to the joint server. Exactly, yeah. and also now uh, we can also having this uh, automatic provisioning that is enabled yeah. scale. So security already had it, but now with uh, Things Network, we also have the scaling capability. That's Great, that's good. awesome. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Good. Hey, thank you very much. So next, we keep them coming. Fabio from Embit. Where are you? Hey. Hello. Thanks. Hi, Fabio. Here, please go to the Good center morning. stage. Yeah. So I mean, uh, everybody that's been around from the start of LoRaWAN knows Fabio. Uh, and he's, uh, he's, uh, you're already in the market for so long, a very, very experienced module maker. So maybe can you tell them what, 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 who are you and what do you do? Yes. Thank you. Good morning to everyone. So we, we do wireless modules. Uh, we provide micro embedded wireless devices capable to be connected to sensors. So we try to offer a solution, open uh, platform to, um, uh, to be able to be connected to external devices in order to deploy, to allow customer to deploy custom solution directly on the microcontroller. So we provide the SDK um, that can be used to uh, develop your own application. The micro module is very small, it's very useful to implement wearable devices, and uh, it comes from uh, um, using the SAM34 from microchip, and it uh, allows to connect up to uh, 17 
uh, using 17 uh, um, general purpose IOs to connect devices. The interesting, thi the interesting thing is that it's equipped by, with, with the um, secure element from microchip, the 608 uh, uh, fully compliant with uh, the uh, TTN uh, um, joint server. Okay. So it's very interesting to implement a secure uh, uh, solution. So it, it, it has the uh, microchip LoRa mo uh, uh, system in a chip yes. and a secure element. Yes. So you, you can save a, a lot of cost because you did the pre-integration. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Last year wow. we introduced this module. This year we introduced this variant that, that is equipped with the 608 uh, uh, secure element. Okay. Awesome. Thank you very much. Super cool. Thanks to you. Thank you. Thank you. So this is how it works. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll explain it. So, um, uh, because this is also always a question. So you buy a module. How do you, how do you prove ownership? And how do, you, uh, how do you claim that the device is yours? So the way this works is that you, uh, when you buy secure elements or when you buy a device that has a secure element inside, you get a manifest file. Uh, and this manifest is a proof of ownership. There is no key inside. It just says, hey, this serial number is mine. And you can use that manifest to claim your devices on our joint server. And when you claim the device, it's registered in your account. Uh, and you can, uh, you can test the device. You can manufacture the device. You can add more parameters to the device, like saying, OK, this has a secure element, but this is using LoRaWAN version uh, 103 or 104. Um, and then you manufacture your device. You print the QR code on it. And then the customer of the device maker can securely claim uh, the device and use it. But there's no transfer of keys. It's just transferring the proof of ownership uh, from one actor to the other actor, from microchip to TTI to the device maker uh, to the end customer. 